Consultant and Executive Director of Design Global Chevrolet, Bill Zach. take on a task of designing a new Corvette, they must build on the stored history and push towards the future. Uh, the current seventh generation Corvette and each one before it had a strong and powerful presence. But the new, the new mid engine here eclipses anything that we've done before. This is not merely a new chapter in, in Corvette's legacy, this is an all new book. Chevrolet has always been about a symphony of performance, design, and engineering. But on this car, every element had to be elevated to the next level of craftsmanship. The Stingray's exterior is a powerful, bold, futuristic design expression with exotic proportions, a wider stance, but still unmistakably Corvette. You can see the continued influence of aircraft design, lean and muscular with sculptor shapes, conveying a sense of motion even while standing still. Now with the new cam forward driving position and rear engine location, the proportions have become the essence of the jet fighter for the road. And as you would, and as you would expect, we maintain some of the essential Corvette design cues that are timeless and translated well to the new mid-engine configuration. You know, for example, the bold front face with the LED lights and aggressive dual element DRL signature proudly says Corvette. The strong fender peaks of the front wheel and the rear quarter give the Corvette the expected athletic and muscular appearance. The sleek sculpture's low, taunt, and aero driven. The horizontal crease on the body side is the main design element that gives Corvette its sleek appearance and anchors the fender shapes and aggressive side intake. Now the purity of this feature was so significant that we hid the door handle releases underneath the side intakes to keep it clean and uninterrupted. Now as you move around to the rear of the car, where most people will see the Corvette, <laughs> the dual element tail lamps are uniquely Corvette with an enhanced three-dimensional execution. With the wide lamp location and the lower dual exhaust tips, the rear stance exudes the performance of a true exotic. Now the design challenge for the mid-engine Corvette were unique in that everything had to be changed. But at the same time, our mission was to make the finished product not just unmistakably Corvette, but an exotic supercar version of a Corvette. By repositioning the engine to the middle, the proportions shift and the whole canopy is thrust forward in profile, allowing the rear wheels to move farther back for a much more aggressive attitude. The mid-engine design allows for a more forward feel in terms of driving position and visibility. You are actually leading the weight as you drive. Additionally, having the motor behind you communicates a supercar feel which intensifies the overall driving experience. The new location of the engine is truly the focal point for the car's design. It's the heart of this new Corvette, and it sits like a jewel in a showcase, visible through the large rear hatch window. Now, every visual surface and component has received unprecedented attention, including the meticulously designed engine and underhood compartment. In driving into the detailed execution of the car, the, the design team found inspiration and ideas in high-end motorcycles and race car components. We sought to optimize the appearance of every two component routing, fastener, and finish. We took the panels off and spent countless hours developing the engine compartment, right down to the mechanical fasteners. The intake manifold covers were completely redesigned, and a Corvette emblem was added for additional detail. Now the exterior statement is bold, fresh, and fully capable, reflecting what we have learned from past Corvettes and from racing. For the Stingray, we completely redesigned the cooling and airflow. We looked at drag, lift, and how to achieve the optimal balance with this new mid-engine configuration while maintaining the design integrity. All the surfaces are pulled as hot as possible over the mechanicals, 
giving the, giving the car a dynamic energy that visually draws people to it. Now what you see here on stage is the Z51 package. As you know, we've had this unique track package for Stingray in the past, and this one offers customers even more. As you can see, it has an aggressive front splitter and an open air rear spoiler. Our designers work hand in hand with the aero engineers, giving a whole new meaning to the term warm falls function. And Chad's will talk in detail more about the Z51 a little bit later. Now the mid-engine mid configuration not only enables a stunning exterior, but also provides interior accommodations, which are improved. With the engine behind the driver, the cowl and the instrument panel are lower. And the entire occupant package is moved forward 16 and a half inches, improving visibility. The driver compartment is also larger than the previous generation, offering more space and an inch more seat travel. With this new mid-engine exotic exterior, we had to deliver an inspiring interior to match. Most important is the driver center cockpit, which features a new squared off two-spoke steering wheel that leaves an unobstructed view of the 12-inch reconfigurable cluster display. The, steering, the square steering wheel shape and low two-spoke configuration enable a full nine and three o'clock hand grip during hard cornering, so you'll have the optimal position. The compressed shape also allows for better visibility and more light room. In the cockpit, the controls are literally wrapped around you in all directions. It reflects a car that is all about catering to the driver's experience. You'll also notice that the only knob on the audio system is the volume control because it's the one that's most frequently used. Every other button on the system had to earn its place. And the single line of climate control buttons on the console laid out, they're all laid out and minimized. The instrument panel's wings extend from the driver's console and wrap around the IP to bring in space. This less is more philosophy has also been incorporated into the unique ultra thin air vents. The look is simple and clean and help us keep the instrument panel low for great forward visibility. <clears throat> now we'll be offering three seat options, a GT1, a GT2, and a competition sport for drivers seeking the right balance of comfort and style. We now offer six interior color themes, more than ever before, which also includes more personal choices on material selection and stitching. The interior stitching is also larger and more pronounced, highlighting the handcrafted quality and attention to detail. Even the seat belts get an expanded, expressive color palette, an option of six. And we've also expanded the exterior color palette to 12, more than we've ever offered previously. <clears throat> One of the key things as well is everything on the interior is authentic, and most parts are wrapped in leather or suede. The buttons are aluminum, carbon fiber is used throughout for lightweight performance and visual appeal. Now all of these details are what makes this 2020 mid-engine steam race special. From the moment a customer walks up to the car and opens the door, we want to surprise them and let them discover something they weren't expecting. We want them to say this can only be a Corvette, but also say that this feels like no other Corvette ever. Now none of this great design would be much without the performance, the packaging, and the total livability of this mid-engine sports car. So this was all made possible by the incredible engineering team led by Corvette Executive Chief Engineer, Taj Dichter. Taj, thank you.
John Chef, and this is my C7 Corvette channel. I thank you for tuning in. I ask you to hit the like button, share button, and subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification button so you know when I'm doing the upload. I'll see you guys again in the next video. Thank you for watching. Remember, stop dreaming and start driving your new Corvette.